and welcome to Cassette Beasts. Let's go ahead and start a new game. And here we are. Obviously the name is Heli, because, well, that's my name. And the pronouns are she and her. Favorite color is already correct. Skin color. What would be cute? Do we go with the uh, pasty one? I, I guess we do. There are quite a few cute hairstyles here. I love the cat headband. And the double buns. And... The, um... High ponytail. But uh, obviously I'm going to show these all to you before I decide what to go with. There we go, I think we've been through them all now. Do we go with the cat headband or with the um, high ponytail? Ah, so difficult to decide. Let's Go with the cat headband. Hair color. Dark brown is nice. But then I also kind of like this. Ah, uh, whatever color you'd call it. Dark violet, maybe? So this or the dark brown? Do we go with the pink headband or... Or a purple one? Maybe pink. And there are several kind of uh, facial features and accessories that you can have. But I think I like the eyeshadow best. And um, let's have dark eyes. We'll go with the uh, dark violet. And, um, our eyeshadow. Purple is cute, right? And so is pink. Hmm. Do I want to change the hair color? I do like the dark brown. Let's go with this. We can change these features later on. This doesn't have to be like um, forever for us. We can uh, make changes once we get into the game. Yeah, I think I like this for now. there we are. We can jump and we can dash. Dashing takes up or uses our stamina. That's what the um, the kind of what's it called? 
the meter there above our character's head is. It's the stamina. Found a hundred wood. There's nothing here. I have played this game a little bit, just to get to know it. Um, before starting this let's play, but not a whole lot. So I think the uh, stuff that happens in maybe like the first couple of episodes is going to be familiar to me. Hey, hey stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? So I love both of these. Both are adorable, but let's go with sweet. Yeah. I can see that. In that case, take this. <laughs> Can devils possess the peculiar ability to generate sugary sweets from their bodies, which can be used as gifts or as ballistic projectiles? Some find this quite charming, whereas others argue that it's actually very weird and gross. We don't know a whole lot about the Candevil yet, but we will. Alright, now just pop that in your cassette player, put on the headphones and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn, don't be shy. Just breathe, you'll adjust in just a moment. Right. Let's give them hell. Alright, so for now, we don't really have any fancy moves available for us. We'll just go with the basic attacks. And there we go. We learned Bonbon bon Blast, a ranged attack. And we got some plastic. You handled yourself pretty well there. Um, what's your name? I'm Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Okay, so this is going to be our new home. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Uh, what is this place? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. My new home. Uh... Right, yeah, sorry. I'm uh, not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. My head is spinning. Wonderful. You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. 
you had me scared for a moment. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbour Town happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your new place now. Where on earth is this place? On earth? Kaylee, you haven't told her? Sorry. I should have. Not to info dump on you. But you're on an island called New Wirral. It's not strictly on Earth. At least that's what we think. Well, is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. <laughs> but you'll be okay. There's community in Harbour Town, and we help each other out. It's not a bad life. And it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Like the one we fought before. I'm actually going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten round that there's a new lass in town. We also fetched some clothes for you, though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era, but it's all we have. My era? Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then, if you'd like. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. This all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. Okay, new quest. Speak to Kaylee at the Harbour Town East entrance. We also got a ranger handbook handbook that Kaylee left for you. You can read this to review what you've learned about life on the island of New Wirral. And this is our wardrobe. Uh, we can even change our name here. Um, I think I would prefer this hair color. Now there are lots of different tops. Let's put some color on those clothes so we can see them better. There we go. And um, there's a t-shirt. A jacket, another jacket, <laughs> a dress. I like the dress. There's a vest and yet another jacket and t-shirt, an apron, another vest, jacket, a poncho, a, swe a sweater. The uh, poncho is actually not bad either. As for bottoms, there are trousers, shorts and a skirt. I think I do prefer the dress though. I'll be right there by your side. 
now. Hmm. I think I like the um, very dark violet or whatever you'd call that color as the uh, top color. Well, they, they are first top color anyway, but, and also the shoe color. But what about the second top color? Do we want purple or pink? How would, um, let's see, how would this look? I think I preferred the uh, pink headband and purple eyeshadow and the dress pink and purple no mm -mm. no I do prefer the um, very dark violet as color one and maybe pink as color two sure this looks okay to me. We can always change it later. And then there's a letter box. How strange that it's indoors where nobody can deliver letters. I think this may be like a multiplayer kind of thing. We don't need that right now. Let's go and socialize a bit. First check this out. Join the rangers and complete your training to unlock access to these quests. Notice to all rangers, don't forget to question townsfolk for rumors or you may miss something. Ianthe doesn't have the time to follow up on every bit of hearsay herself. Okay, so later on, rumors will be a thing. Hello, sweetie. If you're here to sign up with the rangers, you just missed Ianthe. She'll be at the outpost in the park. If you go north from the outskirts, you won't miss it. Good to know. Hello. Hey. Hey there, champ. Are you here to work out? Um, how does this work? Sometimes it's not enough to just be good at transforming. Sometimes you need simply to be stronger. That's where I come in. I can give you a custom workout designed to adjust the uh, base stats of your human form. That'll affect the strength of your transformations too. If you decide, for instance, that you need your melee attacks to hit harder, but don't rely on ranged attacks much, we can move some points from ranged attack to melee attack to do just that. And as you advance through your training with the rangers, you'll no doubt find yourself with a few extra points to put towards these base stats. So, what do you say, champ? Are you ready to work out? Um... Bye. Not yet. I need to get faster if I want to be able to outrun those crab monsters. Arbor Town has always had some sort of community volunteer group. How else would it have stayed in one piece for so long? Iante's Rangers are the latest iteration of it. Gathering resources, assisting people's concerns, we do the whole list. Keeping things in order has gotten even tougher since the discovery of the cassette tape phenomenon. 
but if anyone can do it, Iante can. Okay. Well... I know that transforming is way more effective in battle, but... Man, I miss the weapons the rangers used to fight with. Iante's mechanical gear sword was like the most steampunk thing I've ever seen. Nobody up here at the moment. Okay, so this is like the uh, headquarters for the rangers then. Empty fridge. And I guess we could buy stickers here if we had resources to buy them with. We'll get those resources as we adventure. A box planter. Nothing has planted here. Nothing has been planted here yet. I wonder if we'll get to plant stuff later on. Have you been to the west side of Harbor Town yet? I've been meaning to visit the Heritage Center over there. <sighs> I was hoping to cross the bridge, but it's been raised for a while now. That's fine. I can stay on this side of town, I guess. Ah, so is that the west side then? The one over there, where that dark-haired person is. I guess we can't get there for the moment then. Hopefully, at some point later on. As I said, I have played this game a little bit. Yeah, you can't go into the water. And this is the clinic. Welcome. Um, I'm looking for supplies. Rewind. I guess let's go through these one by one. Fully restores the HP of one tape. Fixes and rewinds a broken tape. Reodorant. A spray can of... Unisex Perspirant Anti-Deodorant. The label says it'll make you smell strongly enough to repel monsters for one minute. Smoke Bomb. Guarantees a successful escape from a wild monster. Won't fool humans or other sentient creatures though. Poison Cure. An antidote to the most common monster poisons. Removes the poisoned status effect from one party member. Burn Cure. A cooling cream that removes the burned status effect from one party member. And a sleep cure. A little bottle of foul smelling salts. Sure to wake up one party member from their sleep. Try not to get yourself hurt too badly out there, okay? I'll do my best. Is there anything here? Nope. You're new to the whole cassette tape transforming thing, huh? A little piece of advice for you? The key is not to think about how it works. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. But it does work. So just go along with it. Okay, will do. Can't 
can't get into these houses and there's also nothing over here. So let's go back up the stairs and talk to a few more people. Um... Hello. Hey. Are you new here on the island? The look on your face gives it away. Yes, I'm new. Nice to meet you. Hello. Oh. You know what I miss? Sports. Why can't Harbour Town start a football team? Well, I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. Good point. Bonjour. It's not too often we get a new face in here. Especially not one as pretty as your own. Ah. I am Clemence. And this fine establishment is the Gramophone Cafe. What can I say? I own many records and I brew the best coffee. Not that there is much competition. Please, feel free to ask me any questions. I am in no rush. Uh, what's on the menu? Rewind, respool, canned ice latte, tint coffee that provides two additional AP, basic tape, records monster forms with a normal efficiency rate, and then there's reodorant and smoke bomb. Uh, the gramophone cafe. When I arrived in Harbour Town, the people here were crying out for a place to socialize. A place that must be stylish. I made that place, if not me, who else? The town had a gramophone and an old machine for playing musical records. So I took this machine and I made it the centerpiece of this new establishment. But the people, they cried out to me. Clemence, you have a gramophone, but no music. One day, the rangers find a place. It is filled with intact records. So they bring them to me. They lamented, we have the records, but they are made for modern record players. Our gramophone cannot play them. I said to them, shush, and I fixed the gramophone. And now we can play the records. Now my cafe is stylish and it has music. Everyone is happy. The end. How did you get here? I fell, landed in the ocean, washed up here. About 10 years ago now. It is what it is. I miss motorbikes um how do you brew coffee i have a special method and the pipers grow me coffee beans on their farm it is a good arrangement we oui? yeah bye for now Can't mess with anything here. Yeah. If you ever get stuck, try asking around town. Sometimes a good rumor will put you back on the right path. Okay. Hello. Ah. For a hundred and one years this town has stood. Did you know that? I remember what this place looked like as a little girl. The town changes so much, so fast. But the foundations, they have always stayed the same. Ah. <sighs> 
Huh? Oh. Um, is there something we're supposed to do with this? Um. Oh, is that like, um, is that something special on the floor there? That spot? Is it just where two planks meet or do we need to put this there and something special will happen? Let's get it right on top of it there. No? Nothing? No. Oh well. Hmm. I guess it was just the spot where two planks meet. Sorry. You'll have to come back later to use the elevator. I'm doing a few long overdue repairs. Okay. Hmm, well. Let's go meet our friend. Kaylee. Get this adventure started. Hey! Hey again. Are you feeling a little better? You know, you held your own the last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given an errand and need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Errand? I'll explain in just a moment. Do you see that path there? Well... There was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're gonna check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take the key to the gate. Alright, got the key. Let's use it. And I do believe we are going to start this adventure in the next episode. We'll go investigate the uh, cracks in the ground and um, we will find out that it's actually not very safe at all. But um, we'll do that next time. For now. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourselves. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.